Hey kids, welcome back. We are now towards the end of our series called Building Relationship with Jesus. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about Jesus being God's servant. We were also going to look back a few Sundays ago what we learned about Jesus. Being Jesus' followers and disciples means that we should learn to trust and spend more time with Him and go on adventures. We also learn that Jesus is the Son of God and is also a great healer. We are reminded that Jesus has healed all different kinds of sickness and diseases. He continues to heal even today as we pray and trust Jesus. See, Jesus is not just a friend and a healer, but He is also the Son of God. And we should see Jesus the same way too. Our lesson for today, we are going to look into the book of John. So, Jesus knew that His time on earth was ending and that He would be leaving the earth to be with the Father. After the special dinner, Jesus got up and poured water into a bucket. He called each of His disciples and He washed their feet and dried their feet with a towel. The disciples were shocked. You see, the disciples' feet were not that clean. In fact, back then, um, they don't have shoes like what we wear today. They only wear sandals. And back then, the roads and the streets, they're not paved like what we have today. They are muddy, uh, dusty, and full of dirt. And so, as Jesus and His disciple and everyone else travels from city to city, town to town, you would have just imagined how much dirty and smelly and stinky their feet will be. And probably a tiny bit of some animal poop. You see, washing feet is a very yucky and dirty job. Usually, a person with a dirty feet wouldn't even wash his own feet. In fact, this was done by a servant, and not just any servant. A servant that is very least and very unimportant. So, the disciples asked, How can Jesus wash these kinds of feet? Jesus took time and washed each of their feet. He then explained to them, Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you should also wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Jesus was the most important person in that special dinner, but he decided and chose to wash the disciples' feet, which is done by the lowest of the servants. Jesus tells us, that we should treat others like this. Now, this doesn't mean telling your friends to come over and take off their shoes and begin washing their feet. What it really means is to serve them. And here's our three lessons from this story. Lesson number one, serve others. It means it's not making ourselves the most important or the very first, but rather putting others first. We must learn to think and serve others before thinking of ourselves. Number two, humble ourselves. Jesus is a perfect example of being humble. He shows us that there's nothing embarrassing about helping others and serving them. And number three, build relationships. Every disciple's feet that Jesus washed, Jesus made sure he spent time to get to know them and to be close to them. You see, as we begin to serve others, we are also building a relationship with that person that we're serving and helping. 
So let's look at some ways how we can help and serve others. Serve your family. Help your parents. Help mom and dad. Maybe your brother, your sister needs help from their homeworks. You can also serve in your school. You can help your teacher tidy up things and you can also help your classmates. You can also serve your community or neighborhood. You can shovel someone's driveway. You can pick up garbage around your area to help the community. You can even donate toys and clothes to some other kids that need it more. And now we're learning how to give out of love. But did you know that Jesus gave something much bigger? He gave His life for you and I. Jesus said, Love one another. You must love one another, just as I have loved you. If you love one another, everyone will know you are my disciples. John chapter 13, verse 34 to 35. And loving others is what a follower of Jesus looks like. You see, love is not something you just feel. It is something that you choose to do. Jesus asks us to choose and show love and serve others. Now, it may seem a little bit harder to do, but Jesus does not make us do it all alone. That's when Jesus sends us His Holy Spirit to live inside of us. And we will learn more about the Holy Spirit in our next lesson. Thank you for joining me today. And remember, you are special and God loves you very much. Have a great day.